a good uh, day, uh, brethren. In a moment, I am going to share a word from Jesus Christ, a direct word to a lady. She gave this word, handed this word to a radio broadcaster, and she shared this word uh, with us. Now, very seldom share uh, uh, words, you know, from uh, people, because it must line up with Scripture, and this word agrees with my spirit 100%. It's one of the few uh, words that I will share. Now, this word deals with uh, the, bride, the bride of Christ, or like she called it, the ambassadors of Christ, and it also deals with the elite, it deals with the peace treaty, and it also deals with the, uh, the uh, revival that occurs after the rapture. Now, I got some interesting development here. Uh, a report Trump weighs a, a pushing peace deal now versus pushing it off to the second term. That is very interesting. It also deals with uh, what is the, the word that uh, Jesus shared to this lady. So um, in this word you will hear that they, f they are fully aware uh, about uh, God's timing, about the timing of Jesus' return. So you will hear that in, the, uh, in the very shortly. But nevertheless, President Trump's, President Trump's peace deal is expected to decide in the coming days whether uh, to publish the deal or the censure that the peace proposal of the, the Israel in the Palestinian Authority, despite the fact that Israel still does not have an elected government or shelve it until after the U.S. elections, as Israel Hyman reported on Sunday. So uh, if you uh, read uh, the, the last piece here, it says now that Israel has launched a third election campaign in a year which is just likely to end in a draw and that is also what I believe so you that election is now in March so he plans to uh, to deal with the peace treaty after uh, the elections so that gives us a, a clue uh, uh, as to when the rapture may occur. And with the current Trump administration itself looking at the tough election season, the American peace team must decide now, probably before the end of the year, so uh, uh, keep, keep a watch on that, to run with it. Come uh, uh, what may or stand the deal until January 2021. Now, the the, the was no uh, compromise concerning the elections, you know, uh, in Israel. So they postponed and they're going to have another election in the beginning of March. So, uh, and I know a rabbi has said that the, uh, the Messiah will come before that election is uh, uh, began. That is what he. That is what he stated. But I don't agree fully with that. That doesn't um, agree with concerning scriptures. Okay. So um, yeah. Without further ado, let me just explain to you. And I just want to share also a little bit about the coming revival, the coming revival that is coming. Now I always thought many years ago that. The revival will happen before the rapture, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, Joel 22, uh, uh, 2 verse 28 says, And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall uh, dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and Joel 2 uh, 29, and also upon the servants and upon the hands, and mates in the days will I pour out. Now this portion did come to pass on the day of Pentecost, uh, just after uh, the uh, um, the resurrection of Jesus. 
And uh, then Jesus went back to heaven. Jesus was still 40 days uh, with him. And 10 days later, it was a feast of Pentecost. And there was great revival uh, in that, uh, that period. Uh, and uh, that came to pass. But the last portion to this, you notice there will be two. This never took place. So it falls short of it. And I will show, show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, into uh, darkness, and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. So you will notice then that the uh, this revival, this outpouring of God's Spirit is coming just after the sixth seal. In the last video, I discussed that the rapture happened at the sixth seal. Uh, we will see the uh, the earthquake. Many people don't agree with me. They said, no, it happens at uh, Revelation 4. But uh, as I've said, you have to look at types and shadows in the Bible. And that types and shadows is in uh, Matthew 27, uh, uh, verse 50 to 53. Now, this is a time just after this event. Um, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. There, uh, God confirms that the word confirms that. And uh, so that is what will happen. And if you look at scripture again, and if we turn to, um, not scripture, yeah, let's look at uh, um, Revelation 8. Let's go here, say, and here we come again to the silence. And he opened the seventh seal. There was silence in heaven, as I said. The seventh seal and the sixth seal occur simultaneously. Because this is when there was silence in heaven. There's no other explanations why there is silence in heaven. I believe it's because the judgment is coming. There is no mourning uh, uh, for for anything else, it's only rejoicing in heaven. We don't experience that in heaven. And uh, yes, uh, uh, could it be because of the revival? Now the revival happened afterwards. You see all the pause, it's a pause here. And uh, uh, the seven angels which stood before God and to them were given seven trumpets. You see, as I said, the, the seventh seal must be released. It happens simultaneous to release the seventh judgment. And that, uh, 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 the next event then could happen five to six months after the, the opening of the sixth and seventh seal. That uh, 30 minutes space there can also uh, be a, a time frame. Uh, um, Six to seven, uh, uh, five to six months for the next event to, ha to happen. So that, uh, that's what that could also mean. But the silence there is definite when Jesus Christ is fetching his bride. And now he says, now there's just where the revival actually takes place. And another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and there was given unto him much incense just after the rapture. You see, just after the rapture occur, that's much incense is giving that you should offer it with the prayers of all saints that is coming from the earth. We, those left behind, they crying out before God. And if we see there in Joel, uh, and Joel uh, let's go quickly to Joel again there. Eh? Uh, uh, it says there that, that's uh, Joel, um, Joel, let's go there quickly. I just want to show you there. And that's where they call out. And the Lord says here, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in that Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be the be deliverance. People calling them out in that revival, call out unto the Lord. And they get saved in, in numbers, people. Glory unto God. What amazing uh, a day that will be. So uh, that's the time I believe the rapture will occur just after the, the, the seventh seal. And there will be a time frame, probably a pause 
of uh, uh, five to six months before the next uh, 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 event takes place where the first angel sound, sound uh, they have followed hail and fire. That will be the next event after, just after the revival took place. And that will be for five to six months. I'm telling you, the, the false prophet and the antichrist will have a great difficulty. <laughs> but nevertheless, let me share that uh, video uh, clip to you. At the same time, I would say, please do subscribe to this channel. Please uh, um, share the video. It's very important. And please watch the complete video until the end. Uh, be blessed until next time. Okay, this is Linda with What's Going On News. This uh, such a mighty blessing is showered on me, and I, I want to uh, read it to you here. One of my subscribers wrote me and told me that she, at 2 o'clock this morning, was given a message from the Lord, and here it is. And I, <clears throat> do not believe in delays. I told you myself that the... Uh, wait a minute, let me try that again. Did I not tell you myself that the time is now for all of these things to be known? Do you not know that the evil ones know the timing of my second coming? They know about the Shemitah. They know about the timing of sorrows. They know when they intend to sign the peace treaty, daughter. The only thing they do not know is when I am coming to remove my ambassadors. They do know that I must come and take you before the day they have scheduled to sign their treaty, before the day they open the final portal of the abyss, before the orchestrated collapse of their current systems into collapse of their current systems into the new world order. Daughter, the evil ones have been around since the days of my beloved Enoch. They know me. They know my word. They know all things except when my ambassadors are departing. I am telling you this because I have given you this job to do. You are reaching many souls out there who will be left on this earth during the terrible time of testing. They will look back on all the things you have written to them about what is coming on this earth and what is going to happen. They will know that I love them enough to tell them the truth. And because of that, they will look to me for their salvation. Daughter, you may not understand this, but although you will be gone from this earth during that time of testing, you will have a hand in the great revival which will take place shortly after the departure of my ambassadors. I am calling you ambassadors in this message because a king removes his ambassadors at the brink of war.